check your lips. Proverbs 10, 21 says, The lips of the righteous nourishes many. It's Caleb Ministries, Thursday, 27 October. Firstly, we are called to be blessers. Negative words are one of the enemy's most effective strategies. Human nature accepts a cynical or critical spin much more easily than news that sounds too good to be true. And not only is that the case in a mass market media, it also applies to our personal relationships. God calls us to be a kingdom of blessers. Yet our own nature and the adversary's influence conspire to create a culture of cursing. Instead of our words nourishing life, they quench it. Secondly, words matter. You can shape the world around you with your words, probably more radical than you think. Spoken words are one of the vehicles for God's presence. The Spirit actually backs those words that are in line with His heart and purposes. Our speech isn't neutral or meaningless. It's substantial and powerful to impact our environment. Jesus warned strongly against idle words. Matthew 12 and 36 and Solomon assures us that they can kill or nourish life. Proverbs 18.21 Words matter a lot. And then thirdly, our application. Bless and do not curse. Become a vehicle of the presence through your own broadcast medium. Your mouth. Wherever the enemy spreads news of despair, meaninglessness, condemnation and bitterness, choose to counter with a kingdom perspective and spin it with hope, purpose, redemption and possibilities. As Paul wrote, bless and do not curse. Find it in Romans 12, 14. As your personality is filled with God's presence, let your tongue express it. Fill the kingdom with words of a hopeful king. I pray. Father, fill my mouth with your words, with meaning and hope and peace. Inspire me to pronounce blessings on those around me, even when they or even when they are unaware. Change the atmosphere according to my speech and let it set people up for an encounter with you. I pray you in Jesus' name. Amen.